Welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm Dee. I'm E. And today we're going to be talking to you guys about Michelle Williams. No, not Michelle from uh, Destiny's Child. <laughs> I, think I forgot both. they were both named the same way. Yeah, there was a little for, confusion online. <laughs> for for our, uh, our thumbnail, I was looking at images and I'm like, why is this girl coming up? <laughs> and I forgot her name was Michelle Williams. <laughs> Wow. No, not Destiny's Child, Michelle Williams. But um, <laughs> I'm speaking of the American actress, Michelle Williams, because fans are predicting she could get an EGOT. That's an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony for Britney Spears, The Woman in Me audiobook narration. But she's still got a long way to go, y'all. So let's just discuss here. According to The Independent, Michelle Williams could be on her way to EGOT status. Fans have theorized following her stellar turn narrating the audiobook for Britney Spears' memoir. The Dawson's Creek star, 43, reads Spears' life story in the audio version of The Woman and Me, which was released on Tuesday, October 24th. Side note, I don't understand why all these publications feel the need to, like, provide a person's age. Like, what does that matter? I didn't even know you were going to say that. How it, did I know? It frustrates me every time. Every time. Anyway, while Spears narrates the book's introduction herself, the singer previously shared that she would not be narrating most of her memoir because she found it too painful to relive her experiences. Following the audiobook's release, fans quickly praised Williams for her depiction of Spears. One particular clip in which William imitates Justin Timberlake adopting a black scent while meeting rapper Genuine swiftly went viral. In response, Fans theorized that The Women in Me could be the project to secure Williams' EGOT status, the acronym given to multi-talented artists who have earned an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. Quote, Michelle Williams is going to EGOT, thanks to the Britney memoir, and I think that's beautiful. End quote. One fan wrote while another wrote, this is the beginning of Michelle Williams' journey to the Grammys and eventually EGOT. For actors like Williams, the Grammy will be the hardest to achieve. She could, however, pick up an award in the category for Best Audiobook, Narration, and Storytelling Recording. Williams still has a little way to go until she achieves EGOT status. While the actor has an Emmy to her name, picking up the award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited Series or Television Movie for her role in Fosse Verdon, she has only been nominated at the Oscars and Tony Awards so far. Um, in 2016, Williams was given a nod at the Tonys for Best Actress in a Play for David Hauerwer's Blackbird. At the Academy Awards, she picked up an impressive five nominations. Her first came in 2006 for Brokeback Mountain, and her most recent was just uh, this year for Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans. Mm -hmm. As of 2023, only 23 people have gotten egotted. <laughs> in competitive categories. The latest one was Viola Davis. She is amazing, guys. Um, who received her Grammy this year for narrating the audiobook of her memoir, Finding Me. Side note, why are all these titles like in me, within me, the woman in me, worthy? Like, why why these titles? No, oh, catchy. And Harry, Prince Harry has spare. <laughs> Well, I think it's very much an attribute of you but know. it is. You know, when you said it that other day, and I was like, connect the dots. He's the spare. You know, it takes me a while sometimes, guys. Yeah, I know. I know. It took me a while. I'm not. It took me a while. I'm just letting you know the real me, guys. Sometimes I'm quick with it. Sometimes it takes me a minute. Okay. Um. So Viola Davis was the last one to get it. Uh, one moment from Spears' memoir to attract attention from reader uh, relates to the singer's relationship with JT, you know, Tristan's best friend. Not JT, uh, buddy. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. The musicians dated for three years between 1999 and 2002. In one chapter, Spears recalls how Timberlake was hit, um, and his band NSYNC loved hip hop and hung out with black artists. Sometimes I thought they tried too hard to fit in, she wrote, I guess Brittany wrote, uh, recalling how she and Timberlake ran into pony singer Genuine. 
in <laughs> New York. <laughs> Walking our way uh, was uh, a guy with a huge blinged out medallion, uh, Spears recalled. He was flanked by two giant security guards. Jay got all excited and said so loud, oh yeah, for shiz, oh for shiz, genuine. <laughs> What's up, homie? <laughs> the clip from the audiobook in which William enthusiastically uh, recreates Timberlake's accent went viral on social media as internet users mocked Timberlake. What up? I could not believe. I could not believe <laughs> Michelle Williams really did a black fit. I was really shambles. <laughs> shambles, I tell you. Ooh. And what let, me, we <laughs> let me just say that for the for the following few days, that replayed in my head over and over again. Like that's how good it was. It was hilarious hilarious oh my like how 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 much did she like practice for that like how often <laughs> I don't know. um but like okay so he got status i think she could do it i think she's you know pretty talented and i loved her narration of um britney's memoir it was really good and there was moments where i almost felt like i was listening to britney mm -hmm. um and i think that especially given that she is such a good actress, there was points where you really felt what she was reading. And so I think, and, and we haven't recorded this yet because I think I'm still processing and still like getting over Britney's memoir. It was yeah. that good, but it was also that difficult, like to read, to listen to it. You could feel the words, you could feel Britney's pain. Michelle did mm -hmm. an excellent job of really letting that shine through um, because it was, it was hard. It was a really rough read or a rough listen. Um, and I think that like, I don't know. I feel like if, if I was her, if I was Michelle, I think I probably would have needed a couple of therapy sessions after that. Cause that was like rough, really rough, but she did an excellent job. I loved it. For those who want to know, Britney Spears' memoir, The Woman and Me, sells 1.1 million copies in its first week. Yep. So Britney and my girl Michelle, well, not really my girl because I'm still holding to Dawson's Creek, um, you know, grudges. Oh, uh -huh. But <laughs> they did a good job. And everybody um, I see on the internet and like you tell me all the time, you know, that she did such a great job. I'm even tempted to listen to the woman in me, but I'm not like ready. It's, and, and that's why, like, I'm telling you, like, I think if I would have, if, if I would have read it, like just read the book, um, it, it would have had a similar effect, but hearing it, I mm -hmm. think kind of, I felt it a little bit more. And, and that again is kudos to Michelle for, for helping that really like come through that way. But it was a difficult, difficult like experience, um, and and that is nothing in comparison to Britney's life story and what she's been through. Mm -hmm. I literally felt like throw everybody away in her life because that girl needs whole new people that actually love and support her. Like everybody, everybody failed her, everyone, and it was well, not Paris Hilton. Oh well, no, not Paris. But you know, I mean, as far as like people that are supposed to be. Your family. Yeah, your family, your loved ones, you know? Um mm. and so so it was it was rough, like um just having having that um or, or listening to, to the whole, you know, recollection, the whole experience and all that. Um, but I can see I can see why fans would think that Michelle could could eventually land uh herself in the in the category of of an egot, you know, status or, or whatnot. Um and I know she she's definitely I think inching closer and closer to getting an Oscar also because she's usually a staple almost every year. Mm hmm Well I mean I hope she does get it, you know. We need more people in this category. But yeah. congrats to Viola Davis. I was so happy when she got it. It was so exciting. Love Viola. So guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Did you listen to The Woman and Me? How do we think that Michelle Williams did? Like, mm -hmm. were you moved? Like, D was? 
Like, do you think she deserves an EGOT? Or are we like just, you know, this this shouldn't even be a conversation right now because she's got a ways to go. Let us know in the comments. Uh, but that concludes today's video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, please share our video and please subscribe. We're trying to grow our community so your friends can be our friends and we can all be friends. We see you guys looking. We have great uh, viewing hours. We just don't have the subscribers. You guys are viewing it. Help us out. Uh, we also have social media, which Steele will tell you about. We're on Instagram and TikTok at Hear Me Out DNE. So make sure you guys follow, like, share, and comment. We enjoy interacting with y'all. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.